Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 15 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos. You can find them on my channel page. And if you're a returning viewer, as always, like and comment, let me know how I'm doing, and subscribe for more videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into episode 15 here. Now, I don't know if anybody can guess where we're at. We are in Lee Mass. I mean, you may have guessed it by the, uh, the line name. But we are in Lee, and this is the construction materials delivery that we set up. It was like one of the first things that we set up, and Lee has not been touched since. And I think that uh, I think that Lee deserves a little love. So we're going to start out here. We're going to build them a probably a bus connection going up here through the mountains. Um, and then we're going to think about connecting up the passenger rail to Springfield. So... Let's go ahead and get them a good bus connection to start out. I think we're going to take this road right here, coming off of uh, Poughkeepsie. So let's come in here, let's get some bus lanes. And we'll just take this and start to uh, bring it out of the city. And then I'm just going to establish this connection here, just so that they kind of, uh, you know, know what to do. Okay. So if we look at our terrain here, I'm thinking that we're probably going to come right up through in between these two mountains or these two peaks and then come right through this little valley right here, this little saddle, and then make our way down and probably tie in with this existing road. So I think that's going to be the plan. So let's go back into our terrain view here so we can uh, follow what we're doing. And we'll take a four-lane road with bus lanes. And we'll just start to work it up. And I'm trying to do this while keeping it relatively flat. So now what I think we're going to do is... We're going to turn this around, staying flat. You don't want to make turns. So whenever you're doing like a switchback, in reality, the turn does not occur um, at, a, at a slope. The slope comes in and then the road levels out, makes the turn, and then slopes back down. So that's not quite perfect, but it'll work for uh, what we're trying to do here. Then let's take this over. We're going to come right through here. And now we can get out of this because we want to connect into this road here. So let me just see. I'm just going to pause this for a second. I'm just going to back this off. Let's connect that into here. And then I'm going to get... A little bit faster road on here. And we will improve that whole road. And then let's see how this looks with the terrain. It's not bad. It's not too steep. It's a little steep, but it's not bad. So we will uh, we'll just continue this back down. We need our bus lanes. Let's connect that right into the city. Now, is this the road that I want to take into Lee? Maybe. It's not bad, but I think we're going to rework it a little bit. And I really wish that that would line up there. So I might delete this road. And I might come back and uh, try and add one in that will line up here like that and then we'll upgrade this road and then I think we're gonna clean this up a little bit so let's see if we take can't get it in there with that there so we'll get rid of that Connect those up. 
and then which road do we want to connect in on? Do we want to connect in here or in here? I think we'll take this and we'll bring it over here. I'll come off here to straight and then we'll connect that up. So now we're connected up and now all we need to do is kind of reestablish a couple of those connections that I destroyed. So I think we'll just make this connection. It's an interesting block. And then we'll make that connection there. Nice, so now this is all connected up. I am gonna come through and upgrade this road for them as well. Just to get a little bit more speed on there. And then let's also look at which trucks we've got on here. So on this line, we have uh, these, they go 50. So do these, and I actually think that these look nicer, so. Why don't we just double the number of vehicles on there? And actually, because I just deleted their depot, I wonder where they're coming from. Yeah, they're gonna come from all the way here in Poughkeepsie. That's okay. I'll let them uh, drive up here. But this line should still be functioning. It is, it's working just fine. Um, and I guess this is actually part of the line as well. Too much slope. Oh yeah, there's way too much slope there. Need to kind of work this road back down here. And then we will connect that up. So now, now they have a connection here. It's a little steep, but I think it'll work just fine. And then let's come through here and just kind of smooth some of that out. There we go. Okay, so now that this is functioning and we have a nice road here connecting Poughkeepsie and Lee, I think what we need to do is set up a bus stop for them to use. So I think we'll probably set it up like right here. So let's get a bus stop. We're gonna need three platforms. And I think I want them on the other side because I want it to tie in with this intersection. So let's see, if I put that in there, houses should still be able to develop there. And what I want to do is I want to come into... Oh, uh, Poughkeepsie East, yeah, no. Uh, after third, I want them to come in here. And then this one, after waypoint four, come in here as well, but go to platform two. And now if we come back up to Lee, we need to set them up a bus network. So let's come in here, let's upgrade some of these roads with bus lanes. So at minimum, we'll do that. And we'll have a little circulator going through there. Although I might want it to come down this way. I'm gonna take that out so that I can make a connection here. Like that. And then we'll make this bus lanes as well. And then I don't think this will need buses. So we'll just go ahead and delete uh, those bus lanes off of there. After this autosave, those should go through. All right, so we missed one. So let's come back through there and get rid of those. 
Okay, but now this is going to need a... Lee is going to need a bus stop in here somewhere. So let's see if we... If we put one in like right here... Maybe here so that it doesn't conflict with the... Trucks. So we'll put that in there. And then let's get some buses. So they'll stop there. Maybe I'll have them stop here, here, and then this should catch all of this. Yeah. Okay. So these will be the stops. So our first line here is going to be... Going around like this. Let's make it like a dark blue. And I really want them to hit this. So after 10th, go that way. And so this is going to be our bus route. And this is Lee. Which way is this going? Counterclockwise. So then we'll get a new line. This will be Lee clockwise. And now let's get this color change. I think we're going with like this blue. Oh, I always do that. I always go to add another station and just mess everything up. And we'll have them do that. So that's Lee clockwise now. And we need to get a new depot in here. So let's grab one. This is kind of our industrial area up here. So why don't I spin this around? And add it in like right there. And now we can get some buses on here. I think I'll go with these fish bowls. And maybe we'll get four on each. So I'll buy eight. And just for the fun of it, let's color these. Let's see how those look. Yeah, those are going to look great. So these are going to go on the clockwise, and the, these are going to go on the counterclockwise. So we should see these come out. These look really good colored. And now let's set up the actual inner city line. And at Poughkeepsie, I want this to go to platform one. Let's make it like a dark green. And this will be Lee to Kipsy. And now we need to get some buses on there. So I'll probably grab two from down here. We'll make them that dark green. And then I'll come back up here to this new depot and I'll add two from this end. Nice. Okay. Okay. So now that we've got that set up, kind of just realized that I probably would have wanted the interchange to be over here so that we could put it adjacent to the To the train yeah so let's do that we'll get rid of that and we'll just add in bus stops right there and these lines are still functioning and then this one's just going to lee siding so we'll fix that in just one second when we add in this So we'll get rid of both of those and then we will add in this bus station right here. And let me just see. So at Cedar, go to platform two. 
at Cedar, you go to platform three. And then I'm actually going to take this and instead of Lee sidings, come up here and go to platform one. And let's see, I want you to use this road to get there. Okay. So now we can let this run. All of our lines are working. We've got a nice circulator going through Lee. And I think that that will work. And now we can figure out how we want to get this rail line in. And it's going to involve a huge tunnel. We know that for sure. So let's go ahead and get a passenger terminus. Look at that. Lee Mass is going to get the first... The first... Uh, you know, big terminus station. Which I find pretty funny. Let me see now. So if I add in like a little road right here. So that's at the right level. I might just come through here and level off a bit of terrain here. Smooth this out a little bit. But look at that, Lee Mass got the, the first modern station, which is pretty funny. Okay, so Lee has their, their station in now. And now we need to figure out how we're gonna connect in. So let's come down here to Springfield and let's make this connection first. And let's see, I'm gonna get rid of that road. I'm gonna pause it for a minute. And then I think we'll have to get rid of this road as well. We'll allow one at grade crossing. So let's see, if I put that in like that, bring that out to there. I just need to make sure that we can still clear this uh, this waterway here. So now if we come over, that will still clear. Let me just back this up to, you know, the, the edge here. And let's come through here and let's get a nice looking bridge. Yeah, like that. That looks really nice. And we'll still clear there. Bring it up just a little bit more. Maybe like there. Let me see, if I back this out to maybe here, where's like the inflection point of this bridge? Because what I want to do is I think I'm going to keep this bridged, or maybe not bridged, but certainly filled. Until we clear this rail line as well.
Let me just see, actually. If I just bring this all the way over here. Yeah, so I could bring it to there. It would stay bridged that whole way. And I think that that's what we're going to do. I kind of like the way that that looks. So let's bring that out to here. And that allows us to clear all of this mess that we have to deal with. And then let's bring it back to ground. And then this can be fill. Doesn't need to be bridged anymore. And that will allow us to go back to ground and then hopefully connect in with this station here. So let me grab this track. And see, so if we come out here, this is tunneled the whole way, which I'm okay with. And let's see what terrain level. Yeah, this is kicking out right here. Let's see, if I kick this out, like, right here. Just trying to make sure that I can give it enough space to bend correctly and connect into here. So it's going to slow down a little bit. Let's see if I can get a better speed on here if I back this out just a little bit. We're still dropping down a little. So what if I back that out even further? One eighty six, still dropping down to one fifty two. As soon as we hit 186, that's where we'll put it in. We'll see if we can get this to connect up. Yeah, 163. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to get near 163, truthfully, on a line like this. So I guess we'll, we'll be okay with that. bring this all the way back here and I don't know if I gave myself enough space to uh, make this crossover barely it's gonna drop down to 30 miles an hour and I guess that's okay we'll make that high speed okay so now we have our tracks so let's establish a new line and it's going to come into here let's make it like a teal color and I think we're having all of our passenger trains wait for 60 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. So let's bring that down to 60. And this will be Springfield to Lee. Lee getting that high speed rail. Okay, nice. And now I think we have a, yeah, we have a depot right here where we can buy a train. So let's come back over here. This is a pretty good run. So. I don't know if we want. Maybe we want one of these Metro liners. I don't know. Part of me wants to make a diesel. I don't know. Let's let's go with one of these new havens. So that's top speed of 87. So we can use these New Mexicos. Could also use these bombardiers. I don't really want to use those. 
So let's go with these New Mexicos and get maybe six of them. Springfield the Lee. And now if we let this run, this should get over here. So let's see. It's going to come out right here. We can kind of speed this up a little bit. And that will make its way over to the Lee line. And we should start to see some passengers showing up to take the the train over here. You can see all those new trucks just got here. Just arrived. Let's get maybe four more on there. This is a pretty long line. They have to do all this uh, switchback nonsense to get all the way over here. But let's see, we're starting to get some passengers. Yeah, three whole passengers. All right, I'm kind of thinking that this train was a little overkill. So let's go down to four cars for now. There it goes. It picked up one whole passenger to go over to Lee. I think this looks really nice. Get, making its way over here. So now if we come back here, yeah, we got 22. 22 people. Let's see if we're getting we're getting decent passengers up here. I would imagine that a lot of people in Poughkeepsie actually would probably want to take this bus up here to get this direct train route heading, uh, you know, in the Boston area. That's just a guess, though. Look at that! All these people going over to take the train. Let's see if they can catch it in time. They can't. Okay, so I'm glad that we got something established here in Lee. Uh, I think Lee really deserves it, and uh, we definitely neglected them. I mean, like some of these. Lee is a, uh, I, I want to say, I think I'm pretty confident that Lee is the first place that we actually built a anything. I think we started off with that combat line. Okay, what else are we trying to do today? I want to start to get some food delivered here into Oak Bluffs. So I think we're going to use this distillery here. So we need to get we need to figure out a way to get some grain over here. So let's start out by building a cargo harbor here. Let's see. So if I just kind of spin this around, maybe throw that in right there. need to get like a little road in here we'll just connect that up there and now if we come in here we want a large cargo har harbor with a large landing and now we'll need a way to excuse me truck the contents over there so I wonder if I kind of put it in like that Let me, uh, let me terraform a little bit of this land here. Okay, so now let's get this in. Let's see, if I kind of put it in like right here, and then grab one of these.
All right, so that will work. That's in catchment here. And now we're going to need another drop off up here. So let's grab this, kind of spin this around so that we can drop off the grain up here. So we'll make this like a, that's a terrible color. We'll make this like a brown. I'll have them wait forever. So this is truck oak bluffs grain and alcohol because it's going to bring alcohol back and let's get a few vehicles on here so if we get maybe just a couple of these tarpaulins four of them and we'll throw them on there so that they can wait for the grain to arrive now where is the grain going to arrive from i think we're going to bring it down from this farm right here and we'll set up a little harbor right here so let's come in here let's get a harbor set up our harbor right there and now let's get a road on here Just like that. Let's come through here and grab this terrain height. Bring that around and now let's get our cargo drop off. Put it in like right there and let's see if we can make this connection here. We can, okay. So now that's in catchment of this harbor, and now we need to make our way over here to this grain. So let's see, if I kind of bring that to right here, probably make that fill. Back it off a little bit. Bring it over. over like that and then we'll bring it back down to ground out to there so that gives us a nice bridge crossing there and then let's take this over to this farm so we'll connect that in there we will upgrade this road and this road. And then let's go ahead and get a cargo station in here. So we'll do our loop. Now let's establish this line. So we're gonna go from New London. Okay, so it's all in New London. We'll make it like a yellow color. I want them to wait for a full load forever before they come down here. And this will be New London rain. And now let's go ahead and put a little depot on here. Let's get some trucks on here. So I think we're going to use these. We'll 
we'll throw them on there and the grain is not going to be delivered because we don't have anything for it to do with it. So let's get the shipping route in here. And let's see, I want them to wait for like nine minutes before they come over here with the, um, what's it called, with the grain. However, when they get there, I just want them to drop it off and then come back for more grain. So this is New London to Oak Bluffs. Grain. And I don't think it's going to be alcohol. Yeah, because the alcohol is going to go up here to Newport. So this is just going to be grain. So just so we make sure, I don't want them to pick anything up over there. Now let's see if I can get a... Yeah, so I'll fit a depot in right here. And let's get one of these axle peas, because they can carry grain. So now if I let this run, we should start getting grain on here. Yep. Because this is going to recognize the alcohol distillery. Okay, and now New London. We need to figure out a way to get the alcohol up here. And I might use this harbor right here. That will mean I need to add another platform on. So let's do that. We'll add on a large landing. And we're also going to need to add on another truck stop here. So let's go ahead and add that on. Let's get our one ways. And let me get this uh, depot back in there. Smooth that out a little bit. Okay, and now we're going to need to get this alcohol up here. could send them through this tunnel. I don't really want to. I might have to, though, given where this uh, grain plant is. So I think what we'll do is we'll move this depot somewhere else. Move it right there. And now let's get a platform here. So this is going to take in alcohol. going to take in alcohol and produce food so we're going to have a new route on here and let me come through here i'm going to upgrade this road okay so a new line coming through here is going to go up to here and i want them to use platform three let's make it like a dark green Nope, that kind of conflicts. Let's make it a uh, kind of a red color. And this is going to be the Newport alcohol food line. And let's get some trucks on there. Let's see, on this, I want them to wait again for a full load forever before they head up here. And here, just so that we make sure that they're picking up the right thing, I want them to pick up alcohol. And then here, I want them to pick up food. 
let me change this. I'm going to change this to platform three. And now we need to come over here. We actually need to put on another large landing. So we'll come on here and do that. And let's see here at Newport, use platform two. I'll make this like a light green color. Don't know why, but that's what we're gonna do. And let's see, at Oak Bluffs, I want them to wait for maybe nine minutes for the alcohol before they come down here. So this is going to be Oak Bluffs to Newport, alcohol and food. Now let's get a ship on there. Okay. So now if we come back down here to the grain. We speed this up a little bit. This is starting to get grain. I think we have a good amount of trucks on here for now. I might want like a couple more. Maybe like two more. Although truthfully, I don't think, I think that this one's probably gonna get back before these guys set off, so. I actually might sell those that I just bought. Yeah, because he's going to make it back. But Alright, so this has 75 food for now. I don't know how many it's actually going to get before it steps off. A good looking bridge. Gonna have to do a little uh, decorating there to clean that up for sure. Why don't we just connect that up so that, you know, people have a way to get here for work? Not like that, that looks terrible. See, if I bring this up like that, and then connect that in, that looks a little bit better. Okay, but anyway, let's see. Okay, we missed our ship, it left. All right, so how many did it get? It got 100. Not bad. So it's going to come up here, and it should drop off here. And now let's just make sure that this is doing what we want. We want this to pick up grain, and then up here we want this to pick up alcohol and bring it back. And then this ship is going to wait for the alcohol and bring it back down. And then it's going to bring food back. So we are going to need another platform here. So that we can deliver the food into Oak Bluffs. So it looks like the food is concentrated down here. They're going to be coming in on this road. might have them drop off probably have them drop off there 
So if we establish a new line now, coming up here, Let's see, let's upgrade some of these roads here. We'll add bus lanes on. I don't know what this madness is, so we'll fix it. Like that. Let's see what this is gonna do. Yes, that's now now that's gonna do what we want it to do. Okay, so now that we have this line established, let's come down here. That's good. We want them to wait for a full load forever. And now this is going to be Oak Bluffs food. And I might just get like, I don't know, two trucks on there for now. Let's see, this is coming in. Where's this guy going? Oh, that's going to Nantucket. That's right. Okay, so this is coming in now with the grain. And we should see it drop off here, and these trucks should pick this up. So now, these Oak Bluffs food, I want to make sure that they only pick up food. So he should drop 100 right onto this platform right here. These guys should take it off. So he's going to go back now and pick up more grain. There's 275 on there now. He can carry 220. So I think we could get another... Another ship on there. And of course it's going to come out of there. So that's fine. But these are going to come up here now and drop this off. And I don't know if they're going to pick up... Yeah, they're picking up a little bit of alcohol. Okay, and the alcohol is now making its way over here. So this ship should be coming back to pick up, yeah, the alcohol. Okay, nice. I think this is probably a few too many. Let's go with four. Trying to balance out some of these lines here. Okay, so now if we come over here, this should be loading up with alcohol. Yeah, it's got seven whole alcohol. Outstanding. There is 19 on this platform over here. And these are our two grain ships heading back. All right, guys. 
that's probably going to bring us to the end of this episode. Uh, we could sit around here for, you know, a little bit longer on three speed and just wait for this to start working. But I think for now, we got a lot done. And I think this is working really well. A uh, couple, you know, admin things that I w just wanted to say is uh, this series is, is, you know, coming to, to an end. We're kind of getting to the point where, you know, we've done a lot and... Uh, you know, I've really enjoyed this playthrough, and I'm really excited to start a new one. Oh my goodness, Lee. Let's see, I'm just going to modify this train real quick. But what was I saying? Um, those are the wrong cars. I've really enjoyed this series, and I'm really excited to start a new one. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, I always enjoy feedback, so if you've got anything, you know, that you want me to try out, feel free to just let me know. Uh, the next series, I've got a few ideas, but again, if you guys got, you know, maps you want me to play or eras that you want me to play in, I'm pretty I'm pretty set on the era for the next uh, playthrough, but I'm, I'm always open to suggestions. So if you got maps that you want me to try out, mods that you want me to try out, um, if you enjoy some aspects of the playthrough and not others, please let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, it's really encouraging. We're well up over 400 subscribers now. So yeah, thank you guys very much. That's really exciting to see. Uh, I love seeing, you know, when I get new subscribers, means people are enjoying the channel and uh, just makes it that much more fun to record videos. So yeah, if you guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed the channel, if you made it this far in the video, consider leaving a like, uh, leaving a comment. Let me know how I did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching. Bye.